It seems like these days most fixed income investors are facing the same overriding investment dilemma. Interest rates have virtually hit rock bottom since the global financial crisis of 2008. To state the obvious, it's not exactly the best time to be buying bonds. So, what options do today's investors have? Some are using so called dividend yield stocks to add returns to their portfolios, but that can be a pretty risky strategy. Some of the most infamous financial crises in history saw stock market declines of more than 75%. Maybe this current financial crisis will play out differently, but we're certainly not out of the woods yet. Other investors are looking at long-term bonds to get higher yields, but that means they're locking in historically low interest rates for many years to come. They're also exposing themselves to significant inflation risk during their retirement years. It's clear that we need to broaden our horizons and open ourselves up to new investment opportunities. This is especially true for the 75 million baby boomers in America who are nearing retirement. That's more than 10,000 new retirees a day for the next 20 years, and that doesn't even consider all of the other developed countries that have their own baby booms. But there is hope for this often overlooked group of investors. In fact, right now we're seeing incredible growth happening in other parts of the world. Many of these countries are actually paying decent rates of interest in their fixed income markets. The challenge for most of us is that we don't understand the global fixed income markets well enough to find attractive investments on our own. We need the right partner to help us. If you would like to learn more about overseas investing in the global fixed income markets, please sign up for a free webinar by clicking on the link below. Thanks for your time.